Hi, I'm a first year medical student and this is my video response to the question of whether pink salt is healthier than table salt. First, I want to thank InvestServe for posting the video talking about the importance of vegetables. But in terms of the question of whether or not pink salt is healthier than table salt, the answer is no. And you can find out this information on the National Library of Medicine and the National Institutes of Health. They have a search engine where you can look at all the scientific liter literature and research that's been published about sea salt or pink salt um, or salt in general and you'll find that there have been no studies on this. And the second part of this video, um, if you're interested, I'm going to show you how you can find this information out. I have heard that um, because pink salt or sea salt is more flavorful, you might put less tables, uh, you might put less pink salt or sea salt in your food than table salt. But in terms of chemical composition, they're very, very similar, except for a tiny difference in potassium, calcium, and a few other minerals. But this tiny difference is not enough to make a difference in health or a therapeutic difference. I think the general guidelines are that you shouldn't take too much salt. Um, you should try to stay within the range of 4 to 6 grams per day of salt and 2,400 milligrams of sodium. And I'll put up another paper. Um, published in the journal of nutrition which talks about that in more detail and so hopefully this is helpful and that if you're interested in how to find out information on PubMed I'll just have a little two minute thing following this so thanks for listening. I'm at the PubMed website and this is basically from the National Library of Medicine and the National Institutes of Health and they have the database for 4,000 journals since 1966 covering medicine and health topics from the United States and over 70 other countries. So it's a very comprehensive database. If PubMed does not have anything on pink salt, then no other search engine could possibly have it. And so I typed in the word pink salt and we're going to see what pops up. I used quotation marks so that we're going to search for the phrase pink salt as opposed to the words pink and salt separately and there are 40 items that pop up. None of them, for example, this has to do with mushroom, this is to do with fungus, none of these 40 search results have anything to do with pink salt and health, which means that there haven't been any studies on pink salt and health. Now, it, you might think that sea salt, because pink salt is a type of sea salt, you might think that there are studies written about that and health and most of the papers out here again do not have anything to do with intake of salt um, they have for example to deal with the salinity of the oceans or of rainwater and those kind of chemical composition issues interestingly number five here this is a paper in the Mayo Health Clinic letter which Mayo Clinic is a very prestigious institution. And the question is, I've heard that sea salt is better for you than table salt. Is this true? And the answer in that, if you look it up, is what I said in the previous video, that sea salt and table salt are chemically very similar and the chemical difference is not going to make a big enough impact on health. I think the key thing which we can look up right now is salt and certain kinds of diseases and you'll find that there are certain guidelines for example salt and hypertension which is hypertension is another name for high blood pressure and um, there are going to be a lot of studies on this some of them are going to be animal studies such as rat models and some of them are going to be human studies um, like this one but to get a much better idea on clinical studies. Clinical studies are studies looking at humans and people. You can go and click limits um, and then you know if you want to limit to English language and then you can limit to clinical trial or editorial or randomized control trial. It all depends on what your preference is but for this one we'll just look at the clinical trial and then we'll click to see what happens. There are 404 search results and then you'll find a lot of different kinds of clinical trials that are looking at how people respond to salt and different kinds of 
high blood pressure medications. And so I posted one of the papers up, which was um, from the Journal of Nutrition on salt intake guidelines. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. And um, thank you for listening.